All right, so welcome back again. My name is Jesse, and in this wonderful and exciting tutorial, we're trying to see how to use ChatGPT, right, to do data analysis. In this case, we'll be using SQL, right? So data analysis with SQL using ChatGPT. So what we're doing is that we're trying to see if we can give it a data set, right? And then convert the data set into SQL table and then do the following. So let's see if we can do that with ChatGPT. So I'll come back to my interface, which is here. And I'm going to create a new chat, right, which is here. So first of all, what I'm going to do is that I have this data set here, which doesn't have any header, right? So the headers are here. I've taken it off. I want to see if ChatGPT is smart enough to get the header, right, from these data sets. So let me pick these ones here. I'll copy this, and then I'm just going to go back here. So, so I'm going to tell that, okay, uh, can you identify the headers for the data set I will provide below? So let's see. So I'm going to place the data set here and let's see whether it is going to be able to identify the headers. Okay. So let's see if it's going to identify the headers for this data set. So it's waiting. Okay. Wow. That is quite interesting, right? I actually took off the headers. <laughs> I took off the headers from this and then it was able to generate the headers for me, right? Which is quite interesting, which is similar to what we have here. So the age, the work class, as you can see, if I compare it, we have the age, the work class, the, I'm surprised it's able to identify the headers without the headers because this is public data, right? So it's able to be smart enough to get these headers, which is quite interesting. I took it off and it was able to identify it. That is impressive. Okay. So let me tell it to convert it into a table. So can you convert the data set to a table with the headers you provided? Yeah. So let's see if it's going to convert this one to a table and Perfectly, it is putting their headers in the right place, taking the data set as it was, and then it's putting them as it's supposed to be. This is impressive, right? This is quite cool. As you see, it is putting everything well. Wow, that is quite interesting. Okay, so we have seen that we can use ChatGPT to help us with some data cleaning stuff. In case you have a data set and you don't know the headers, you can let ChatGPT identify the headers for you and put it in a nice table. Okay. So let's see how to use SQL analysis, right? So we can use pandas to analyze it, but this time we want to use SQL. So we tell it to write. So uh, can you write, no, can you convert it? This, uh, so what I want to do, so what I want to do is I want to convert it into an SQL table. So I'll ask it to write. So can you convert this? into an SQL table. So let's see if it's going to convert it into an SQL table. Wow. <laughs> and this is interesting, right? It's picking the entire data that above, right? And it has converted it into <laughs> SQL, right? Which is useful, right? So you can use pandas to do this, but we are allowing ChatGPT to give us the SQL code to be able to generate this entire data into SQL, right? And we can run it and then it's going to work. Let's see if it's right. So create table, pan, data set, the age and everything as suspected. The characters are also correct, that is the fields and it's putting everything back to the right place, right? Yeah, perfect. That's finished, can you complete? Can you complete? Complete it. Yeah, so let's see if it's going to complete. Perfect. Let's hope it's able to do everything well without stopping. Then the next thing we will do after this is done is that we want to ask some questions, right? So we're going to ask questions about it and then write SQL queries for each question. So you can see that this is private. So let's see if it's able to more one than 42. Okay. Okay, perfect. 
So we can let it continue, but let's ask the question. So based on the table and data, what are some of the questions we can ask? Yeah, give me 20 questions, right? So we are giving, we are picking the data that we have, these ones, which we have converted to SQL. And then we are asking it to give us questions that we can ask, right? And I asked it to give us some very much, some 20 questions and just given us. The next thing is that I wanted to give me the SQL code for each of this, right? So, and you generate the SQL queries for each question. So let's see if it can do that. We are testing the limit of it. Wow, <laughs> that is quite interesting. This is impressive. So you can use ChatGPT to help you to analyze your data by also generating the questions and then the answers, right? Which is quite true. After we are going to analyze it. So one of the things you have to know that you have to also check these things if they are true, right? So you have to check it if it's true. And this is quite interesting, right? It's picking each of the questions that we had here and then it's putting them into this option here, which is quite interesting. Right. Oh, wow. Cool. So that is some of the things we, have, we can do with ChatGPT, right? There are a lot of things you can do. Now let's convert these things from SQL, right? We can actually run them in case we want. We can run it and check and see if it's working. Right? So we'll select average age as average age from data set. And this is a valid, uh, valid SQL status. Select how many different red class are presented. We can use count and distinct, which is also true. What is the most common education level? You can use count and then you can also use group by and order by, which makes sense. How many individuals are married? You can use where, and then you can put this pattern and it's also going to exit. Some of the queries are actually on point, right? Let's see one thing we can do. So the next thing we want to do is I want to check and see if we can convert this thing into a Django model, right? So let's say, <coughs> Convert the data into or the data or table into Django models. So let's see if it can convert the data that we had into Django models. Oh, <laughs> this is interesting. It was able to convert the entire stuff into Django models, right? Which is quite cool. So we, there are a lot of things can do with SQL, right? In case you have a complicated question and you want to analyze it, you can also put it there and see there. So, all right. So that is it. So you have seen some cool stuff you can do with ChatGPT. Let's ask it to create a student management system using Django and then we want the queries for it. So I'll go back again and let's test it. Let's see if it will be able to do that. Okay. And this is quite interesting. And then I can also tell it to write it into SQL. And in case you have an SQL query that you want to optimize, you can also try it out. Right. So I'll tell it to convert to SQL table. So let's see. If it convert to SQL table, perfect. <laughs> this is interesting, right? This is, yeah, this is impressive. Okay. So one more thing before you move on, let's check one website called uh, God mode. So God mode AI, and let's see if we can also do something similar with it. It's God mode AI, which is this. And it's also like ChatGPT. Oh, I don't know why it's not working. <laughs> Maybe I picked a different one. 
yeah, I think it's this God mode space, the space. Yeah, there's the one, auto GPT. Let's see if we can also ask the same question we did, which is similar to ChatGPT. I want to do the same thing if it will help us. So let's pick with this. Let's see if it is as smart as that. Oh, I have to do my API key, my ChatGPT API, open API key for it to work. Yeah, but you can see that we can also use the same thing. You can also select different models for that, right? Okay, so thank you for watching this tutorial. In case you have any question or contribution, you can put inside the comments below. And see you another time. Stay blessed. Bye. Choose. Baka baka. But before we go, one more thing. So I want to ask it a random question, right, from what we had. So uh, what is the total... Yeah. Number of yeah of males in the data set. So let's see. Let's see if it's able to get it for us. So it's giving us the code for it and then it's going to give us the code that we can use to do. Right, so which is quite interesting. So thank you for watching. See you another time. Bye.